tonight we're going to talk about how to get out of a Crohn's disease flare. Now, my name is Mike, and I used to suffer from a horrible case of Crohn's disease. I had a perianal fistula that was absolutely disgusting. And yeah, I, I don't suffer from Crohn's disease anymore. I have normal formed poops. I have gained 30 pounds in about a month or two just by doing these simple things uh, to get out of a flare that I'm going to share with you in this video. It's, it's a, it's a four-step process. So stick around and you're going to learn all these four steps. So the first step is identifying the theme of stress in your life that is putting your gut into overdrive. A lot of you are focusing on diets and I've focused on lots of diets. I mean, I've tried just about everything, guys. And I've seen, if I haven't tried it, I've seen somebody try it with my own, my own two eyes. Um, it is, has nothing to do with diet. Diet will actually make it worse. It is caused by a certain type of stress. It's indigestible anger. What are you really angry about in your life? For me, it was, I was really angry with women. I didn't get women. I didn't understand them. They would tap dance on my heart. It sucked. I didn't like it. And I was angry about it. Um, I was also angry with, uh, not reaching my goals. Like I'm a very ambitious person. Like if I like even with my hobbies and with my work, I'm like always like angry if I don't reach my goals. So like when the, these two things I'm trying to digest in my life, women and my ambitions. When when I start to feel angry about them, my my gut goes, oh, Mike needs help digesting this, and it starts to develop extra gut cells to help me digest and absorb this hard to digest thing in my life. So for me, the conflict was women and my, my goals, my ambitions. For you, it might be, you know, maybe you're remodeling a house. Maybe you're buying a house. Maybe you're selling a house. Like what are the most stressful things for people? It's usually buying a house, selling a house, remodeling a house, going through a divorce, moving, uh, changing jobs, getting fired, you know, you, you start to see the same stressful events. We all experience these things a little bit differently. I experience it with indigestible anger. And if you're watching this video, you probably experience things with indigestible anger. So the second thing we need to do is not blame food. Once you find that conflict, I used to blame food all the time. I get it. But the first, when you identify the stressor that puts your gut into overdrive, you see how ridiculous it is to blame energy and nutrients. I get it. I used to blame dairy. And then one day I sat down and I went, it is stupid to not be able to digest dairy food. It's just dumb. It's baby food. It, how, how could someone be allergic to that? It's just stupid. I, I sat down to myself and I said, you are a wimp. If you can't digest baby food, like what the, how weak are you? And I, I learned that when it was, when I found these stressors, I was like, oh, it's the stress that's causing that. And I, I was like the next day I was able to tolerate anything, anything and everything, gluten, sugar, uh, you know, whatever it is, I, I can eat whatever I want. Okay. So the third thing is you need to understand your symptoms. So when you resolve the conflict, when you resolve the conflict, like, so for me, like when I got a new girlfriend or when me and my girlfriend started getting along again, I, I would literally crap my pants. Like there on the spot, Johnny on the spot, because I'm resolving the conflict. Oh, I don't need to digest girls anymore. I, ha I finally got one that's, that's being nice to me. Okay, Mike doesn't need these extra gut cells anymore. Let's get rid of them. And it's like removing the physical flesh. So when someone's in a, a Crohn's flare, they just resolved something. You need to celebrate those symptoms. The, the, these symptoms are only scary if you don't understand what is going on. What's going on is that you resolved this hard to digest thing in your life and your body's getting rid of these extra gut cells and no longer needs. Maybe you need medical support. I, I didn't, um, you know, besides like, you know, over the counter painkillers and stuff like that. And I usually just sit in bed and watch star Wars for, you know, a couple of days. But I, I, 
instead of panicking, I go, okay, I'm just going to have diarrhea for a few days. My gut is going to hurt for a few days. I'm going to have a headache. I'm going to have a fever. I'm just going to sit in bed and enjoy watching Star Wars and, you know, take it easy. I will, I will be okay in a couple of days and everything will be back to normal. If I keep that conflict under control, if I manage this conflict correctly. And so a lot of you are in and out of this conflict. So the fourth step, you know, celebrate your symptoms. Third step, celebrate your symptoms. It is an opportunity to learn about yourself. What did I just resolve? What do I get emotional about? Most of us don't even, aren't even like aware of this stuff. I wasn't. And then, so the fourth step is you need to ask yourself, how do I resolve this conflict for good? How, how do I, how do I make this conflict impossible to experience? What is the exact opposite of the conflict? So this is going to be a little corny of an example, but I mean, so if my conflict is, you know, I'm only always getting in fights with women, maybe, maybe I should edu educate myself on masculine and feminine behavior. You know, that, that might help. You know, what skills do I need to learn? Maybe if I go to the gym and I don't look like a, a scrawny nitwit, you know, maybe girls will want to stick around more. I don't, you know, maybe if I look like 007 or something, maybe girls will want to stick around more. I, this is a very long conversation and it depends on your situation, you know, whether someone's married with kids and whether someone is just a, a single guy, you know, the way we resolve this conflict is going to be very, very, very different. You know, we have the environment we live in. We can change the environment that we live in, you know, move from this apartment to that apartment or, or whatever. But the most important environment is the environment in our head. Because the, the, the brain does not know the difference between these things. So there's a little bit of a practical change and a little bit of, you know, a percep perception change. Both, both, both parts of these are important. Both of them are very important when it comes to fully resolving this conflict to turn off the Crohn's disease for good. This is not, Crohn's is not genetic. It is not caused by toxins. It is not caused by foods. You could cause it by per perceiving foods as hard to digest. It is caused by indigestible anger, period. Tell your dipshit GI doctor to learn German new medicine and, and stop torturing people. It is very straightforward. It is very simple. It is caused by indigestible anger. And if you don't understand this, you will never get better. And I want you to get better. But you have to address the root cause. It is common sense. And the root cause is indigestible anger. How are you going to get this indigestible anger under control? What changes do you need to make in your life? Ask your brain that. Instead of worrying Ask your brain, how do, I, how do I solve this? And ask it enough, it will eventually come up with an answer. And then you got to take an action and actually do something about it instead of sitting on the toilet. So I understand the situation you guys are in. I know you feel hopeless because some idiot in a white lab coat told you it's genetic, which is just the dumbest thing I've ever heard. But you can get better. I've seen many people do it. I've done it. This is a science. This isn't liberal arts. You can get better. But you have to address the root cause, which is your indigestible anger. And I have um, a 30-day program, which you can follow. It is in the description below. Everything you need to do to get rid of your Crohn's. It's the best Crohn's treatment. So go down there and click on it, and you can start to get better. So I'm Mike the Healer Gut Guy. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.